Hello everyone. Hope everyone is safe. Welcome to computer class. This is Sir Manos. I'm very glad to say that all are learning. I'm getting your replies, my email ID and my WhatsApp number. Really, dear, you all are doing fantastic job. High five. All the best. Keep watching and keep learning. Last class I gave certain questions in ESO Defined class. Here are the answers. Okay. So today also after my class I'll give you homework and you have to reply the same email ID and the same WhatsApp number. Okay. So let's enjoy today's class. Yes. Advantage of a method. Different ways of defining a function. Let's begin. Advantages of a method. It divides a complex computational task into a collection of smaller methods so that solving becomes easier. It occupies less memory space. It executes faster. It reuses the segment of operation as and when necessary by simply using the method name. For example, suppose I will ask you to write a program to find the volume of 5 keywords. So no need to write five methods simply you will write one method and that method you can call five times clear and it executes faster it occupies less memory space it divides the program into smaller methods so that solving becomes easier these four points are the advantage of a method the next one is different ways of defining a function there are three ways number one receiving value and returning outcome to the caller receiving values but not returning outcome to the caller neither receiving values but not returning outcome to the caller okay so out of these three today we'll discuss the first point that is receiving value and returning outcome to the caller listen carefully in question it will not mention these three so how will you know which method you will follow in the question it will give you find write a program to find the volume or check whether it is prime or not or check whether it is the the number is a palindrome or not okay at last it will mention if it is there the function should return a value then you have to use the first method receiving value and returning outcome to the caller it means you have to use the return statement clear so let's start the program before that you should know the general format of program using method we will do the method using receiving value and returning outcome to the caller. First, write the package name, then write the class name, open curly brackets, declare the prototype, open methods curly bracket, that is prototypes curly bracket, write the logic or formula depending on the program, then write the return statement, close the methods curly bracket, write the main method, open the curly bracket, create the scanner object, then create the class object declare the variables write the input statement use the input methods that is next int or next double as for the data type then call the method using call by value write the output statement close the main methods curly bracket then close the curly bracket okay now see as for the syntax the program is like this first package name so the package name is import java dot util then the class name public class volume then opening curly bracket yes i have opened the curly bracket then declare the prototype here the prototype is public int keyword int l int b int x then open the curly bracket yes then the logic the logic is uh, l into b into x soon after that return statement then close the curly bracket clear now write the main method that is public static void main string args then open the curly bracket then declare the scanner object that is scanner s equals new scanner system dot in then create the class object class name ob equals new class name then as per the syntax declare the variables as there are three parameters you have to take three values int x y z then declare the input statement that is system dot out dot print and enter the values then using next method as x y z are integer so you have to take x equal to sc dot next int y equals to sc dot next int z equals to sc dot next int 
then call the method using call by value so wall equals to ob dot keyword x y z next write the output statement system dot out dot pintle and the volume is wall then close the main methods curly bracket then close the class curly bracket clear now you have to do in blues a so right click on blues a go to open then you will see the blues a window then click on new class okay write the class name then click on okay as the class name is already created its volume now see the clear program is here program to find the volume of a keyword using receiving value and returning outcome to the caller okay so this is the full program uh, you can write the uh, that is uh, uh, statement comment statement is the class name all the program I have typed now click on compile see no syntax error then close right click on the class name void main string then the method call window will appear click on ok now the terminal window appears here one message displayed that is enter the values so you have to enter the value so first we will have enter 5 it will store in x next value will go to y the next value will go to z okay the answer is ready now see when you do program using method always it will go from actual to formal so actual parameter this is x y z this is known as actual parameter and this one is formal parameter the next question is why we have created the class object volume ob equals to new volume why because the method prototype is your non-static method if the method is non-static so to call this method object is required if it is a static method no object required that we will do afterwards clear so this is receiving value here l b h are receiving from this x y z okay and with the help of return it is coming to the main method so we pass three values 5 8 and 6 that will go to lbh after that the formula will compile here then return the value to this variable vol then we have to display system or then the volume is vol okay see the program now see how actually it works this is the program highlighted person public int keyword int lbs this is the formal parameter the parameter which appears in the function definition is known as formal parameter and here you see x y z are the actual parameter so these parameters are appear in the main method without data type and here with the data type so later on we'll discuss the difference between formal and actual parameter okay x y z will copy to l b h then this l value b value h value will compute and will store in v then that value will come to this variable vol while printing it will print the final value clear so this is a very simple program to find the volume of keyword using receiving value and returning, returning outcome to the caller okay so here is the homework for you write the class with the name area using a function compute that computes the area of trapezium functions return a value that means the first method what i told you receiving and returning the formula is given here tr equals to half into a plus b into x okay have a nice day